Genesis chapter 34. Now Dina, the daughter of Leah, whom she had borne to Yaakov, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, the ruler of that area, saw her, he took her and lay with her and violated her. His heart was strongly attracted to Dina, the daughter of Yaakov, and he loved the young woman and spoke tenderly to the young woman. So Shechem spoke to his father Hamor, saying, Get me this young woman as my wife. And Yaakov heard that he had defiled Dina, his daughter. Now his sons were with his livestock in the field. So Yaakov held his peace until they came in. Then Hamor, the father of Shechem, went out to Yaakov to speak with him. And the sons of Yaakov came in from the field when they heard, and the men were hurt, and also very angry because he had done an evil thing against Israel by lying with Yaakov's daughter, a thing which ought not to be done. But Hamar spoke with them, saying, The heart of my son Shechem longs for your daughter. Give her to him as a wife, and make marriages with us. Give your daughter to us, and take our daughters to yourself. So you shall settle among us, and the land shall be open to you. Live and trade in it, and acquire possessions for yourselves in it. Then Shechem said to Dina's father and her brothers, Let me find honor in your eyes, and whatever you say to me I will give. Make the bride price ever so much dowry and gift, and I will give according to what you tell me. But give me the young woman as a wife. Then the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hamar his father, and spoke deceitfully, because he had defiled Dina their sister. And they said to them, We cannot do this thing, to give our sister to one who is uncircumcised, for that is a shame to us. Only on one condition will we consent to you, if you will become as we are, and every male of you is circumcised. Then we will give our daughters to you, and we will take your daughters to us, and we will settle among you, and we will become one people. But if you will not listen to us and be circumcised, then we will take our daughter and be gone. And their proposal pleased Hamar and Shechem, Hamar's son. So the young man lost no time in doing what they said, because he was delighted with Jacob's daughter. Also the young man was the most honored of all his father's household. And Hamar and Shechem his son came to the gate of their city, and spoke with the men of their city, saying, These men are at peace with us. Therefore let them settle in the land and trade in it, for the land is indeed large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us as wives, and let us give them our daughters. Only on this one condition will these men consent to settle with us, to become one people. If every male among us is circumcised, as they are circumcised, will not their livestock, their property, and every animal of theirs become ours? Only let us give our consent to them, and they will settle among us. All who went out of the gate of his city agreed with Hamar and Shechem his son. Every male was circumcised, all who went out of the gate of his city. Then on the third day, when they were in pain, two of the sons of Yaakov, Simeon and Levi, Dina's brothers, each took his sword and came boldly into the city and killed all the males. And they killed Hamor and Shechem his son with the edge of the sword, and took Dina from Shechem's house, and went out from there. The sons of Jacob then came upon the slain, and plundered the city where their sister had been defiled. They took their sheep, their oxen, and their donkeys. They took what was in the city and what was in the field, and they took all their wealth. All their children and their wives they took captive, and they took as plunder all that was in the houses. Then Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, you have brought trouble upon me by making me as a stench among the inhabitants of the land, among these Canaanites and Perizzites. And since I am few in number, if they gather themselves together against me, they will kill me. I shall be destroyed, my household and I. But they said, Should he treat our sister like a harlot? Genesis.